Hello, everybody, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 4. Once again, we're going to continue our career. And uh, don't pay attention to Martinsville. Forgot to do an intro for the last race. So we're racing at Vegas this time. All right, so I went in here. I am changing the player tire wear rate to less wear this time and player tire grip fall off to less uh, to, uh, sorry, more grip. That's what I want. All right, I'll put it in normal, actually. I'll be fair with that. Uh, but less wear for sure. I don't want to be chasing this thing constantly. So that's the reason why we're doing that. We'll head back and we'll save those changes. All right, work plan's done. It's time to select a car for the race. And that is going to be our speedway. You can see right there, that's what we want to use. And we're slowly putting money into it. Look, we only have 12,534 at the top there. Uh, and uh, we're ready to go to the event and uh, try to get it done at Las Vegas. Okay, so I tried out uh, Vegas and got absolutely destroyed. I think we're not ready for legend mode. So we're going to drop it down hard just so we have a little bit more um, progress instead of... Uh, just feeling like we're driving in the back all the way. So we're going to try that out. And now we're going to try Vegas. All right. So this time, I think I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the next session to qualify. And as far as what we're doing with the setup of the car, I think we might end up uh, just keeping it in the middle. Now that uh, we have uh, made that change to our tire wear, it, uh, we don't want to be having a tight truck here at Vegas. So let's qualify and see where we end up. Okay, we're going to be bringing it to the line. Let's see what we got here. Where are we going to end up here in this race? At 34, 192, 26th. I can deal with that. That's better than uh, dead last for sure. So we need to uh, to bump our, uh, our difficulty up um, later down the road when we have cars that are you know able to do it. So you're seeing like here, Austin Hill with a 34035 and Gus Dean behind us with a 34241. Now I'm starting to feel like a, a you know low uh, star team here. Uh, Brett Moffat in the 24 truck dominated and got a 31.767 in his results. It's time to go racing under the lights at Vegas. Austin Wayne self cars really fast today. Uh, Brett Moffat pole winner right there in the 24 truck and Natalie Decker field technical inspection. She'll be starting at the rear of the field. That's one more position for us. We'll take it. Let's go racing. All right, man. You're coming to the green. Ready? Green, green flag, flag in the air flag. at Vegas, and we are away. And I don't feel like I'm absolutely getting destroyed right out of the gate, which is wonderful. Careful. I'm go not ahead. expecting to win the race or anything, but, man, it's, uh, it's, it's more than frustrating to be in the very, very back all the time. Go but... There. It also makes sense if you're not, you know, putting uh, the resources where they need to be. Ooh, got into Massey a little bit there. That could have uh, upset him. And I'd be a little more careful there. Roll out of the throttle a little bit more there and then got a car low now. breathe it. But we're not getting too destroyed so far. We are fighting for the rear spots, though. The Ooh, man, a little aggressive move to there to as I have followed clearing him down, but I almost cleared the nose. <laughs> Off of somebody behind us. Oh, I think it might be uh, Jennifer Joe Cobb in the 10 truck, and it looks like it is. A little bit of a bump there to Lassard, and he's going to uh, be able to save it no problem. We're getting aggressive here, but uh, that's what we have to do here to try to make our sponsors happy. And I'm pedaling the truck a little bit more. Jennifer Joe Cobb with the run on the inside, not going to be able to do it. And Parker Kligerman's going to clear us. And now we're starting to spread out a little bit more. You see up there in the front. Everybody's starting to spread out as well, which is wonderful. But we got a nice little pack back here in the back that we are, uh, we're dealing with. And that's uh, Austin Hill there in the 16. I'm going to run the middle here. We're gonna three wide, coming off a of two, keeping the draft between the two. And I'm staying with Claire. I'm going to go to the bottom here with Hill a little bit. Nope, Jennifer Joe Cobb's going to make that move on the inside, and she's going to clear no problem. Benjamin on the outside having a little bit of trouble there. We're going to drop down and drive the apron here. Still there. Things are really heating up here early on in this race. I'm right here with Forrester to the inside of Forrester. Getting a run here. Now we're about to have a good run here on the 10 of Cobb. Careful. Still there. Cobb three, easy if you need it. Look at our lap info here. Previous was the 34, 3, 2, 1. So we've fallen Inside. off quite a bit there. Clear low, clear low. 
You can already tell. Here to go. Let's go to the uh, inside here a little bit. So you can see exactly how I'm wheeling this thing around here. Ooh, got into Cobb there. She checked up a little bit, so I'm not going to even uh, apologize for that one. And that is the end of stage one. We finish in P21. Oof. I had to drive for that one a little bit there. Okay, everybody's pitting. We are going to pit as well. We're going to just do four tires and everything else. Now, you'll notice we're in 21st right now. We should come out right around that same spot. And we end up 30th. We had a bad pit stop, it looks like, or some guys stayed out, one of the two. You're coming to the green. Be ready. Ready. And we don't have a great pit crew. Oh, That's something inside. that I've noticed in uh, single player. Uh, you won't have those kind of discrepancies. But, man, we haven't put anything towards a pit back. crew. So we're actually dealing with that uh, in our career. That matters. We need to, uh, to, to work on those guys so back. we can get some better stops, especially if we're getting decent positions. Uh, going on in the race. I'm driving it really right, hard in there. I never lifted. And we got a nice run to the inside of Natalie Decker. Careful, still there. And Benjamin, I'm going to drop out of the gas a little bit there and then get back to it a few times. Really, really trying to get around. Kyle Benjamin in the 44. Drop down to the apron. Use all the track five we can go, here. And he's right there, but you're noticing... He, uh, he knew I was down there, and he gave me room to race. So I got to thank him for that. But, man, somebody just bombed it down to the bottom lane Top into three, one and two, but we're able to maintain the momentum in the middle lane. It's working You're for us. The got one up top. We know we're a top 20 truck. We just, we have, we've proven that you know, to ourselves so far. We just need to keep on pushing here. You're all clear up top there. And we're trying to break that draft off of Natalie Decker there in the 54. I think she's going to be able to get us oh, here in this corner. But I'm going to go to the top here. We, we kind of overdrove it. But if I commit to the top lane, I should maintain momentum. And look at that. I'm able to do that in previous versions of the game. You, you couldn't do that without the multi-groove racing. So I'm really happy to see that. And I'm going to chop the nose on Decker there. As long as I can hit my marks, I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm trying to get to the back bumper of Greenfield. Not sure I'm going to be able to get it done here in the next three laps, but that's okay. And Decker's now, now going to try it again. I'm going to sit here in the middle and give her room to race down there inside. if she wants it. And if I want to, I can always look over to the left or right and see where they're at, but I'm listening to my spotter. So as we have wear on our tires here not too much and we made that adjustment there and we've only got a little bit but it's enough to notice it in the wheel a little bit nothing too crazy two to go driver let's get our leaderboard back up there for you so it's not like i'm uh, you know pedaling the truck because i'm on older stuff more so than you just can't flat foot it around these tracks there we go we were right at Greenfield, I'm thinking they're starting to have uh, their tires wear on them, and they're dropping speed quite a bit as we go longer into this run. I'm going to use the apron here to get around the 52. White flag is in the air. White flag in the air, trying to finish out the second stage where we belong, and that's the top 20. Get to the inside of the two truck at Creed. He got rude. You're clear there. And we were able to clear Sheldon, no problem. Now we set our sights on Jennifer Joe Cobb, which was able to get by us earlier on. And now our tires have worn. So I like the fact that I can uh, can see what those sliders do when I make the you know the changes to nice how their wear there, is driver. versus my wear. Uh, and I can adjust those later on down the road uh, to you know have a realistic experience out of it. But I'm happy with P19. Everybody's pitting. We're going to pit as well. Not making any changes. Um, to the truck at all. I'm just leaving everything defaults. I know you could change the tire pressures and all that, but I'm, I'm just happy with what we got right now. All right. The sun has gone down completely. Nighttime is out. Corbin Forrester, 12 laps Coming down. I'm green, pretty sure driver. he's parked for the night. Almost 
Ready to go. Green flag racing once again at Las Vegas. Let's try to get it done in stage three. Half down, half to go. This time by. Careful. Still there. Got a car coming inside now. What a oh, move on, on that inside. one. We're going to take it all the way down to turn number three. And Balicki's going to drop down in front of us and say, nope, no more of that. Careful, still there. All over the back bumper of the 34. We're going to drop down under the apron. Give them room. Car outside, hold your line. Breathe the throttle a little bit. Get Get a little bit of break. Out. Don't want to put him in the wall. I almost did. And Jennifer Jo Cobb wasted no time at all to get in there, and she's going to go around right in outside, front of us. Outside. We're kind outside, of involved, bud. keeping it straight. Caution flies. Wow, that was a racing incident. I just, I never lifted for her. That was my fault. Holy cow. Anybody pitting? Don't think so. We're not going to pit either. Oof. All right. Trying to get it done here at Vegas. Getting ready to go green this all time right, around. You're covering the green. Be ready here. Green flag in the air once again. I don't think Cobb's going to be too happy with us. We turned her. That was 100% our fault. But she did dive bomb us. I pushed up into now. him. He gave me room. Right, she dive bomb bombed it in there. And then once I got going again, it just spun her around. So that's 100% on me. Be careful here. We're going to get the inside of Benjamin. Try to get that draft. Off of Dean, we'll drop down a little further. Not going to happen. Got one outside now. There we go. Not sure if it's Ramey or Rima. Rima? Careful. I said Ramey. I'm going to call it Ramey. I'm not really sure how to say his last name. A lot of new faces in now. the truck series this year. All right. Dean's going to drop down, though. Come on, Gus. And Jennifer Joe wide, Cobb's going down there once again at the bottom. Clear up top. Racing on the outside. It's pretty realistic in the fact that you're always racing around the same Careful, people, it feels there. like. We are getting Bottom really clear. racy here as we get to the end of this race. Got a car coming inside now. I'm going to start running the middle to high lane because it seems to work out for those guys. Cobb on the move. That was a nice one for us there. We're going to have a huge run coming off of two, and I'm not moving. I'm going to give shove to Cobb, and she's going to get inside of Natalie Decker. But the ladies battling out here for uh, position number 21 right now. We're back in line with Cobb. Keeping the draft going. Careful. Still there. All right. You're clear there. I need 10 more solid laps. Giving another Not shove to Cobb. We're trying to keep it moving. We're using using that draft. We have to drop out of the gas quite a bit there, but nothing too bad. I have a huge run on Cobb. I'm going to get the inside. I'm letting her know I want to get by her. Here we go to the inside again. A little side draft action. Drop out of the gas. Get back to it. Commit Car fully. High. Careful. That worked in our favor clear there. Clear up top. Now we can just set our sights on Massey and just drive our line we've been running all night. Having a look here at our uh, truck, we've got 69% and 65%, so we've, we've really used that right rear tire up, Still there. and it's showing. And a lot of these guys have too. So I'm starting to feel it in the wheel now that we are driving on 60%. On the rights, it is starting to get uh, freer as the run Outside. goes on, and we knew that was going to be the case. You got room. You're clear. 32 all the way up next to the wall there. Got one peeking outside. And now the race is on. All right. Get our back up. Tyler Ingram is uh, up there trying to get it done. We we're all clear. I heard the spotter say that. I just wasn't 100% uh, sure there. I'm going to breathe it just a little bit there. We're just trying to get a little more out of the truck. 
as the run goes on. We're in P18. We're trying to get to P17. And uh, I love that we got some. We got two trucks racing pretty hard for a position right there. Looks like it's Ankrum and uh, maybe Johnny Sauter up there fighting for position. That's going to help me and Ankrum get to the back of those guys. We clear anchor, no problem. Now we can try to get to Anderson. I'm seeing that their tire wear is really starting to affect them, but uh, nothing for the leaders. The leaders, we can't even get close to the same zip code those guys are in. We go to the inside view here for a little bit. I love the sound change there when you jump in there. City car just ahead. Anderson uh, closed the door on this right there, coming off of turn four. That's what we can do here. A little bit of outside action for those of you that Five like that. It's not my style of racing, bottom. but hey, I know a lot of people like that view. I crowded Anderson quite a bit there, just from my uh, how bad I am in the outside view there. I'm just not good with uh, judgment on the front of my truck. All right. We are just trying to survive. 49 and 38 on the right rear. Almost out of gas. Almost out of gas. We're going to have to pit next time by. This thing went completely green. We should have pit right there. We made a huge, huge mistake. I was not paying attention. I was too busy dealing with uh, that guy. Saving a little bit of fuel here. We're going to try to not screw up getting on to pit road. And not run out trying to get the pit road. So I'm going to get out of the gas a little early on that one. Ooh, truck is very, very loose. Let it slow, let it slow, let it slow. Nothing too crazy. Nice and smooth here on, on the pit road we need to be. Don't speed. Back it down, back it down. There we go. I think we were flying on that. Four tires, two cans of fuel. Let's do it. I'm happy with that. Four laps remaining. Estimated fuel after pit will be 12. Oh, we can change that based off of that. So we only need a little bit. Four laps exactly. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do a half a can. Oh, no. We're going to go. I'm making an audible. Seven laps in case we go to overtime. All right, boys. Let's do it. see where this all uh, cycles out. We're going to be really slow on our pit crew because we haven't got those guys up to speed yet, but they're happy with it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you know what I did? I think I got the speeding penalty. 24 seconds on the stop. That's going to hurt us quite right, a bit. Dig, dig, dig. One thing I do love is uh, this year we have grip down here. With the new physics, you don't feel like you can't drive it hard getting off of pit road, which is wonderful. And that was a terrible, terrible decision by us to uh, to wait to pit. Number one, we sped onto pit road, I'm pretty sure. And now we paid the price. We are in 31st after we worked all that time to get up to the front. And we're running out of time in this race. Two to go, driver. Well, sometimes you gamble. It did not pay off for us. We made mistakes on pit road. That was a bad pit stop. And it ended up ruining our race. But that's what happens. I didn't even think about that. Having to uh, pit at all. Because... I'm so used to, uh, you know, the yellow coming out. It's not over yet. I mean, yellow could happen. But... More than likely not going to happen. All right, let's go. White flag. Got one up top. There's 30th. You got room. You're clear there. Some of these guys are on older stuff, it looks like. They're pretty slow. But I don't know if we're going to be able to get this guy here. Not dead last, but uh, definitely not where we wanted to be. A lot of fun racing, though. That was a lot of good racing. 
so you can't be too upset about it. It's 100% my fault speeding on the pit road. And that'll do it for us. 30th. Oof. Our speed rating jumped up to 89. That's not so bad. That was crazy. Is the race results we can see we finished 30th after making that crucial mistake on pit road Tal Gilliland is going to get the win and Stuart Friesen there behind him uh, and Ross Chastain had a stage win but he'll finish P6 right now race earnings there you go hey we'll take it 23 grand we did everything we possibly could uh, that's for certain let's see how everything shook out here uh, as we finish up everything at this event and confirm to leave the track, we are greeted with that loading screen, and then it comes in with the uh, the whole breakdown of the race. Race summary, 30th. There's the money. There's the fans. We have 93 fans so far, and there is the car wear, race wear and tear. All that stat comes dropping down. Not too bad. Not too bad on that one. Jeff Fabiano's aggressive driving style annoys some drivers. Oh, I bet you it's going to be Jennifer Joe Cobb. What do you think? Uh, no, Parker Kligerman. Uh, seriously, you're making it hard to want to be friends with you. Uh, I'm going to be nice to him and compliment him. Uh, Spencer Boyd, check out this video. Okay, we'll watch that. If you keep driving like that, someone's probably going to come after you. Chances are, it'll be me. Okay, Spencer Boyd, thank you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just be nice to him as well we don't want we're gonna be polite this early on i don't know if i'll do that in my own career later down the road but uh, definitely uh interesting 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 moving on to the fourth race next and that will be at martinsville a short track race however that ends things here uh with the career mode early access stuff because i am going to be waiting for the game to come out so i can work on my career mode uh and actually do that that'll be a lot of fun to do and try to finish better and better. Uh, but it all comes down to career mode settings. And I love that you can change all this in the middle of it. Uh, it's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. 
All right. Well, that will conclude our look at uh, the career mode uh, until the game comes out. Hope you guys enjoyed my little playthrough of it and showed you everything I possibly could think of uh, that uh, you can expect in NASCAR Heat 4. It's just a whole new experience, man, and I'm very, very excited uh, to play it when it comes out, just like all of you. That'll do it. I'll see you next time. Take care.